Horses are on the track for the second race at the DuCoin State Fair. No changes. Track is fast. Again, this for pacing fillies, non-winners of two paramutual races or $5,000 live. Number one, Gene Spinelli, owned by Gene Rick and Tim Barbary of Carmi, trained by Tim Barbary. Clay Simpson is up. Number two, Ms. Bossy Pants, owned by Jace Sundin and Tim O'Brien Stables, trained by Jace Sundin, the driver, Andy Miller. Number three, Jenny Sue, is owned by Brent Finn of Newton, by Michael and Adam Nicely of Wheeler, trained by Mike Nicely, and he is also the driver. Number four, Never a Message, is owned by Lakeview Lawrence Stable of Laura, trained by Guy Calvert. The driver is Brian Calvert. Number five, BP Swinger, is owned by David and Elizabeth Mulvey of Newton, trained and driven by Hidalgo's Randall Finn. And number six, Sportin' Diamonds, is owned by Andrea Rice and Andrew Robinson of Warden, trained by David Martin. Tony Morgan is in the bike. Post time in only three minutes for race two. Here they come. They're off and pacing. Never a message grabs the racetrack. Ms. Bossy Pants gets away, showing early speed as well. And there goes Ms. Bossy Pants up to take the top spot at the entry to the first turn. Jean's finale will get a good trip in second. Never a message backs off into third, followed by Jenny Sue, BP Swinger, and Sportin' Diamonds is last as they go toward the quarter. Ms. Bossy Pants is on top by a length. Jean's finale second a length. Never a message third by two. Then Jenny Sue, BP Swinger, and Sportin' Diamonds, the opening quarter in 30 seconds flat. Ms. Bossy Pants guides the field onto the back stretch, leading it by a length and a half. Jean's finale second a length and a half. Never a message is third by just over two lengths. Back to Jenny Sue, Sportin' Diamonds, who moves up fifth on the outside, and BP Swinger against the rail is last, six lengths off the lead. Approaching the halfway point, Ms. Bossy Pants is setting the tempo, leads it by nearly two. It is Jean's finale in second. Never a message is still there in third. Sportin' Diamonds is fourth up on the outside. The half in 59 and two-fifths seconds. Ms. Bossy Pants leads the field to the final turn by a length over Jean's finale, who's second by a neck. Sportin' Diamonds moves up third, and then never a message on the inside of BP Swinger, who's next to last and four lengths off the lead, placed toward the outside, but with cover. And Jenny Sue is last, but starts to move off the rail from there, six lengths off the lead. At the three quarters, Ms. Bossy Pants on a two-length advantage. Jean's finale, his second, Sportin' Diamonds is parked third. Three quarters, 128 and three. Ms. Bossy Pants comes off the turn, leading Jean's finale by a length and a half. Long way back to Sportin' Diamonds, BP Swinger, never a message toward the rail. Jenny Sue is on the far outside. Final eighth mile, and Ms. Bossy Pants leads by two and a half, trying to get free of Jean's finale, who's in the second position, then BP Swinger third at the line. Ms. Bossy Pants wins it. Ms. Bossy Pants to take it by three and a half. Jean's finale second by a head over BP Swinger in third, 156 and four. Two, Ms. Bossy Pants first, the one Jean's finale second, number five, BP Swinger third, number three, Jenny Sue was fourth. Ms. Bossy Pants, a three-year-old incredible finale filly owned by Jay Sundin and Tim O'Brien Stables, trained by Jay Sundin. Now the official winner for driver Andy Miller, bred in Sherman, Illinois by Fox Valley Standard Breads. Ms. Bossy Pants wins her first purse start of the 2002 season. 2153 is the official result. And that victory will move Andy Miller into a tie with Dave McGee atop the driver's standings, now with three wins apiece. Andy, by the way, is also currently in the top ten among all dash-winning drivers in North America. He ranks number eight right now for the 2002 season.